So you want to be a player, but your wheels ain't fly. You got to hit us up to get a pimped out ride. You got to pimp my ride. Damn right. Hello, this is Orange Sherbet here, and today on Epoch's version of Pimp My Ride, we've got the 1960X Valhalla GAZ limo, and we're going to pimp it out. So with the new 103 patch, with the documents that you've seen, there's going to be a few new things that you can discover by examining one. In fact, we'll examine one right now, but I'll kind of show you as it's, as it's examining. We've got here the fuel tank, which is going to change your fuel consumption. We've got luggage rack, which is going to change your cargo capacity, off-road performance, and vehicle maintenance, which uh, that is going, I'll show you what that all does. Of course, we've got another romance novel. We've got a nice bookcase going of those. Here's a torn newspaper which you can see the recent obituaries are still legible. So you can tell what that will do. They'll be able to, you'll be able to see the recent deaths from the death board. And also, what was the other one? Oh yeah, the plot deed. That's going to play into a lot of people's base building. It's going to be a pretty damn valuable one right there. So... We're just gonna, what we're focused on right now is pimping out this ride right now. So, we're gonna p actually pimp out the. What we're looking to do is the uh, actual performance. So, let's go ahead and let's pimp this guy out. Need some more engine parts. Okay. Actually, I may have to go buy some engine parts really quick before we start this. So we've got some engine parts to facilitate our upgrades, and we have the documents to do it. So let's give it a shot here. Just go in your gear, right-click Upgrade Vehicle. Missing one more of how-to vehicle maintenance. Okay. See one more of scrap metal, okay. Well, luckily I've got extra engine parts, so we can go ahead and rip those apart for some scrap metal. It's a good thing about any of this epoch crafting, it kind of tells you what you need as you do it. more of tank trap kit. Interesting. I did not know that. Okay. Well, let's see if I have a tank trap. Any tank traps? I don't know if I have tank traps. May have to cut again and, and find some tank traps. Unless I have one in here. Don't remember. Oh, okay. Alright, let's go find some tank. I thought I'd include a little bit here. I'm just buying some tank traps, and uh, there's a, some bugs being worked out in this patch, and the, the bag lady appears to be running for the hills. Run to the hills. Run for your life. <laughs> it's just, I, I cried. I literally cried the first time I saw it because I came into the trader city. And it appeared to me that someone was running away from me, and I thought it was a player, so I went up behind the trader. <laughs> the bag lady. She's out here. Just running wind sprints. And she is just she's just going ham. And you can still trade with her if you're if you can catch her in time, you can trade. But yeah, that'll be that'll be sorted out, but it's pretty funny. <laughs> Anyways, whatever. Okay, so I think we're ready to test some of this stuff. So I went and traded a bunch of things. So we'll see exactly what we need to do these upgrades. So I want to upgrade the up the off-road performance of this guy. So 
Got this one here. Let's go ahead and hit upgrade. It's going to go through that. Alrighty. Let's do another one. Off road performance. Upgrade. They have to sell vehicle. Weird. That is a strange one. We'll be talking to AWOL about that, but we are still testing. Missing one more of how to luckage rack? What? Alright. Well, let's. <laughs> I don't even know. I think there might be. I think there's obviously some issues with this right now. But, uh. We'll, we'll continue to test it. Okay, so. With missing one more of camping tent. It's not even the one. I don't even really necessarily care about the, uh. About that right now. Huh, alright. Um, let's try. Let's try another off road performance. That is strange. I definitely do not need a luggage rack. How to luggage rack for this. My goodness. Um, I'm going to try re-logging and coming back. Okay, so I'm back for another try, and I thought about it, and I think it's I think it's interesting to you guys, maybe, and uh, important to show you the process of how, how I learned to do it, because you'll be going through the same thing as you follow along and try to do it. So we're going to upgrade that, and, <laughs> and that's one of the things, actually, that, uh, that can happen currently. Is you get knocked out, or <laughs> so <laughs> because it it sort of um, sets the vehicle back into position, as you can see. So uh, yeah. But one thing I can uh, explain as I'm passed out is that there's different levels of these upgrades. So the luggage rack is the cargo capacity of the vehicle. You should be able to upgrade it a few times. I don't know how many levels it's going to be. And the same thing for off-road performance and on-road performance. Those things, there is a max speed that that can go. And there is obviously a max gear capacity. And I think it's a, I think it will go up to 100 for the gear capacity. But I'm not exactly sure. And I do believe I'm clotted already. So I just got to morphine myself. Once my guy's done, he's a little bit ashamed at the moment. But this is this is why we test. This is exactly why we test. So no fuss. I do not have much sound at the moment though. I'm gonna go ahead and uh eat and drink to make sure I get my health regeneration going. Another thing that I really like is the, uh, yeah, go ahead and vanish too. The surrender animation, which is, a uh, not a new thing, but for Daisy, it's kind of nice. A little RP, stick em up action. There's a little trick for you. Get your, get your sound back. Soda can in the ground. So, let's go ahead and surrender. I surrender, sir. And for some reason, my guy's eyes just look fantastic when I do that. But anyways, back to what we were doing. So we've got the off-road perform. The off-road performance is really what we want to do. And maybe we can do it from a few few meters away. And I don't know what that means. But I'm scared now, so let's see. How to fuel tank. Uh, it's just strange. You know, I wonder if there's only one level for each. But we can certainly do a how to fuel tank. And I can about imagine it's going to uh, it's going to tell me. I wonder if I have to do the level one of each one first. Two more fuel tank parts. Yeah, I knew I need those. So. 
We'll take this baby out for a spin once we get it all fleshed out here. Oh god, I'm scared. I'm gonna die. Noise. Okay. Any painkillers? Yeah. In the face. All right. So what else? Let's try another one of these. Okay. So each time, each time you, d I think if that message is just placeholder. It just needs to be changed. To say something like failed to upgrade vehicle. It's got to, uh, it's going to upgrade. I think the last vehicle you were in. So I've got to do another f uh, how to fuel tank. Okay. We've got a ton of those. And then we need two fuel tank parts for that one. Hopefully I don't have to do more than one of these. It's gonna consume all of that. Two fuel tank, huh? Okay. Well, I don't have any more fuel tank parts, so. But I did notice that the. Uh, let's try it with just this. Did notice when I was driving it that the off road performance is significantly improved. So I did get one of those done, so. I don't know exactly what those messages mean right now, but what I'm going to do here is check for fuel tank parts for one but I'm just gonna examine these documents and show you guys what your chances of getting something good is truly just as a little show me kind of test like what you're gonna get that's good so we got a how-to fuel tank off-road performance. And these are just raw documents. Got a letter. So this is determined as like a garbage or whatever. But it's still something that you can look at. You can place that on the ground and kind of zoom in on it and look at it. These documents will be found on any zombie, and a lot of them will be found in uh, military and military special loot. So you can see the ATC firehouse, barracks, a hangar as well. We've got a how to wood ramp, that's a really nice one. And more of these documents to in the future as well. So it's always something to look forward to with Epoch. Okay, so we got another. How to off road performance. We got a torn newspaper that you can read the obituaries, which of course is like the uh, death boards at the traders. So you'll be able to see the recent deaths. Another wood ramp. And how many more? I got two more. So, see, out of this, I got three pieces of garbage. And a lot of goods. There's another luggage rack. I'll go ahead and go in the I'll go in the gear of the of the vehicle and show you the improvement on that as well. Okay, so I got out of all of this I got two three pieces of garbage and a lot of and nine pieces of good 
oh wait, uh, four pieces of garbage and eight pieces of nice things. So that's not bad. Oops, I'm just dropping them on the ground apparently. Just trying to put them in safe. Let's go ahead and throw everything in the safe now. So I think I've pretty much done what I can do with this vehicle. And we'll just go ahead and take it for a nice spin. Feel free to post comments in the section down below. Let's see what this baby can do. So the normal speed, the speed before I upgraded it was about 22 without pressing turbo and about 29 with this is without turbo at 35 and with we're doing you know 45 to let's see what the max speed off-road we're doing oh boy it looks like 48 47 or 48 all right let's let's really open it up we'll hit the gear and see uh oh my it upgraded to 100 right away for the uh, for that, and I'm not sure if there is more more levels of of off-road performance or not, but we're really we're really cooking. I think it even with the off-road performance and not the on-road performance, it still upgraded my speed by about five or six on-road, so not bad. What's up, dog? We're gonna we're gonna really put this to the test. I I can fly. <laughs> <laughs> and that worked out exactly as I hoped it would. All right, guys. If you got any comments or questions, please post them in the section down below. And we're looking forward to this one point. 0.3 patch this a disclaimer for anybody who went through this video and and enjoyed it or was per, you know uh, wondering why there's so many bugs it is it is a development build so this is not an official official build by any means that's why we do the testing and we will hopefully work out all these bugs and I'll try to figure out how to get off of this roof in the meantime but uh, we'll see you we'll see you next time